Good evening and welcome to the Ronald B. Stafford Ice Arena. I'm Sean McCluskey. Alongside me is Mike Mueller. And we're set. It's the NCAA quarterfinals here. And it's the Plattsburgh State Cardinals heading up against the Hobart Statesmen. Right now we're going to kick it off and we're going to start it off by recapping Plattsburgh's last game in the Tsuniak Championships against the Oswego Lakers. And that was some game, Mike. Both those teams just playing their hearts out. Immediately, Darrell Levy started off for Oswego with a big goal. Pretty much right off the first faceoff, you see that goal by Levy. Which is a hard shot from the point. And some hard hitting going on throughout that whole game. A lot of penalties to both teams in that game. Very physical game play. Yeah, really physical. And it was surprising to see how well Plattsburgh played in that physical game. And we move on now to the second period. And it will be Eric Saden passing it over to Dylan Clark, cleaning up in front of the net. And Plattsburgh will tie the game at one. Yeah, and this is, even though they just tied it with that goal, this is really where they start pulling away as they just start dominating on offense. And Plattsburgh, their dominant power play, getting it done. The shot deflecting off of Ritzel, but Joey Wilson coming back. That's one of his two goals in the game, bringing Plattsburgh up 2-1 to one in the second. He played a huge game in the Suniac Championship. Two goals, as you said. Doing it all over, but it's coming out of the penalty box is McLaughlin. He'll come out along with Denuzio, and they both were to put it right past Brian Hintz. That was such a nice play. So we'll show you a replay of that. Just right past Brian Hintz on his glove side, too. Something you don't see a lot from Brian yeah, Hintz. Usually that big glove is all over the place, but he missed that one. It was a tough shot. you got to give Oswego credit. And later on in the period, it was Plattsburgh setting up again in the zone, and Joey Wilson getting it done again in the second. His second goal of that period. Yeah, great job by him, really. Really playing big for this team. He hasn't been a home run hitter every game, but that game he was. I'll move on to the third period where it was 3-2 Plattsburgh, and it'll be Sean Dennis putting the finishing touches on this game for us. Just some great hustle by Sean Dennis. Yeah, and just a nasty shot. Look at that. Just right over the goalie. Lined it up. There's no defenseman around, and that ends up being the game winner for this team. That was the wraparound in Plattsburgh just trying to get it done. Oswego trying to make a comeback at the last second. Plattsburgh State Cardinals are the 2008 SUNYAC Tournament Champions. Yeah, and they're, they're celebrating, they get their award. Great job for this team, but really now they gotta start looking towards the Nationals as that starts tonight. Last year they didn't make the tournament and they uh, didn't win the SUNYAC. This year they already won the SUNYAC. They get home ice advantage for the first round of eight. That's right, and this season it was Bob Emery's 11th SUNYAC title in 18 years of coaching, so it's a very effective coach for this Plattsburgh State Cardinal team. And in fact, earlier on in the week, I was able to catch up with him and find out what he thought about this Hobart team. We're going to worry about uh, Plattsburgh State Hockey first and foremost. You know, we're going to let our opponent worry about us, no doubt. But uh, can't win without a good goaltending. And, uh, our goaltending has been solid all year, so that's the most important that our, our goaltender plays well. And uh, but uh, you know, we have a pretty balanced team. And, uh, it's going to take all all 20 guys to come out, pay the price, uh, work hard, and, and play blue, blue collar hockey. And Mike, that was a great interview. Thank you to thank you to Coach Emery for agreeing to it. And he was saying players are going to have to come up big. Definitely the goaltending, Brian Hintz. But the team has been looking at tape all week against this Hobart team. Yeah, and he said it perfectly. They're just going to play Plattsburgh State hockey. They're not going to let Hobart dictate the tempo of this game, or at least that's what the game plan is right now. Right. Well, it should be a good one here at the Ronald B. Stafford Ice Arena. For Mike Mueller, Sean McCluskey, we'll be right back. You're watching Cardinal Hockey. <laughs> 